All right, today we're talking about how to watch the cross on terminal SND and MW3. There's a spot on offense and defense that teams are starting to use to watch the cross to the plane side. So what you can do is use that info that you get from watching these lanes based on these positions and then make a play off of it or just work with your team based on that info. So this is what happens when you have cross spots in search and destroy maps. If you remember back in Berlin in Vanguard, there was a cross spot on the offensive side. They can see players trying to cross towards the A site so you can count how many players are actually towards that site so you can see whether you want to either hit that site or whether you want to just go towards the B site. So a lot of teams would just basically play off of those numbers and trying to get the man advantage somewhere. So this is going to be the spots for terminal specifically. Uh, I'll do another video on invasion, but these are some really easy spots that teams already know all about. So it's no secret anymore. It's basically just the basics at this point. And teams are already playing for possible players playing these spots. So it's nothing new here. It's just going to be a development of the strategy of this map in general. So I'll show you these spots in game and then I'll take you through some clips of Kenny and Dashi using these spots in these S&D tournaments. And then we'll finally go to the overhead view and talk a little bit more broadly about uh, the cross itself and what you can do with that info. So as you can see here, we're starting in the offensive spawn. We're gonna make our way through the security with our knife out just so we can have a better timing. And then we're gonna hop right here onto the planners and make sure that we look over towards the slide over here, see if anyone is crossing from that defensive side into the plane. So if anyone is trying to rush from that defensive spawn right into the plane to get initial positioning either towards the cockpit or towards that L tunnel, you're going to be able to see their head and body cross up this slide towards there. Otherwise, they're either going through low plane, they're going maybe even towards the back of the plane, or even just fully stacking that B side because they can really play off of that because they know it's a possibility of you watching this cross. So if they're not hitting this initially, you still have to take into account all those other options that they might be doing uh, intentionally to try and play off of this cross. But otherwise, you can just use this spot. It's just free info for you. You're not doing anything else in the first 10 seconds of the round as an AR anyway. So it's just free info that you can get. And you there's, might as well do it because there's a very small chance of you actually dying. But uh, honestly, it is worth the risk because of the info that you can possibly get and help your team out. So this is a clip of Dashi using this spot in a 3v3 tournament uh, with Shotzi and Kenny. And as you can see here, he's doing this right at the start of the round. And he can see the entire cross for anyone that's going up through that slide to the plane trying to get that quick initial positioning in the plane. Nothing cross plane. Yeah. And as you can hear, he just said nothing cross plane. So with that information, he's going to start working towards this right side with the guy that has the bomb because he knows that they'll have that quick initial man advantage and positioning towards that plane side because he saw no one crossed over there. Obviously, he still has to take into account the possibility of them going low plane and trying to counter this. But you can take that gamble and start working the plane yourself with those two people and seeing if you can get some type of man advantage situation towards that side of the map. And now we'll move over to this defensive side across. And so what we're going to do here is rush with our knife out towards the escalators over here. We're going to run up the escalators and then we're going to slide past this bomb and make our way right over to the hallway and start proning over here. And you can see anyone that might be crossing from the dreams and gate side over here to the plane uh, by seeing this cross right here. So you can call it to your teammates. If there's a guy that's already pushing plane, you can call it to him if someone crosses there so he can get that initial info and can play off of that. And if you want to, you can even, if you see someone, you can make your way towards this corner over here, start playing over over here to make sure that you see anyone that might be crossing back so like they were faking to trying to go in the plane and this way you're fully committing towards this hallway over here or you can even try and push up over here to try and get an actual kill uh, because otherwise you're just trying to look for the cross get that info if you're pushed up over here there's a better chance of you actually killing one of those enemies but what you can do is just stay here watching this cross making sure you have that info here with your team and the best way to do this is pair it with someone that might be playing top escalators over here watching from the planners watching anyone that might be going into Burger Town or pushing through P1, basically making sure that you don't, don't die for free over here. And then what you could also do is have someone uh, go to the top AC over here. And what they can do is actually just watch your close library push. So anyone on the offensive side trying to insta push library, maybe trying to camera you in this position, uh, they're at least getting met with a gunfight and they'll actually be traded in case you die over here. So they're just watching that close push for you because you're going to be focused down on this hallway. So if anyone, you know, pushes over here, you're most likely not winning that gunfight if they look 
in your direction right away. So you're just focused on this hallway. You have someone watching that library for you and you, you have someone uh, watching Burger and P1 over here, making sure that you don't die for free. So it's a pretty nice three man setup. And then lastly, you can have that guy that might be in the plane waiting on your direction, waiting to see if anyone crosses from Dreams to the plane. Maybe it's an SMG or an AR that just likes to get insta rushed up here. Uh, and you're just playing off of this, either jiggling it or just, you know, insta challenging it if you see someone cross. And obviously we just call this cosmetic store Dreams. That's what I talk about when I'm talking Dreams. You know, if you say he's crossing Dreams, that means he's crossing from Dreams to the plane side over here. And he's crossing this uh, little area because that's what you're seeing uh, when you're down there over at the other end of the hallway. Okay. So this is a clip of Kenny in the Search and Destroy tournament using this spot. As you can see, he was rushing with his knife out, going towards this escalators. He's gonna slide over to the position past this bomb. So he's getting there pretty quickly. And what he does is basically he just prones here, waiting for anyone on the offense to cross and that he can give that information to his other players. And as you can see with this setup that they have, they have one guy watching this P1 push over by the escalators. And then they have one guy top AC watching his close library push so he's pretty safe in this position and what you're going to see here is one of the guys on offense does end up crossing from dreams to the plane and what he can do is try and take a little bit more of this positioning so he's now trying to fully commit towards this hallway by going into this corner making sure that he doesn't cross back to dreams and then he can even push even further to try and see if he can get a kill on this guy if he's closer like this there's a better chance that he can get a kill and in this position he doesn't have to really rely on anyone watching his library push because it's a really off chance that they're going to slide out trying to check this close corner because it's such a hard clear for them on the offensive side. So he can usually play this solo and just see if more people cross or if they cross back and try and get a kill off of that. So we'll go to the overhead view to give you a little bit of a better idea of what's happening from a top down perspective. And I'm actually using this new website called gamecoach.gg. I saw a post on Reddit of someone who had created this app and I figured I'd get him a little shout out because it is a cool little tool that they created. And you know, I love when people from the community start creating things uh, to help the community out. So figured I'd give him a little shout out there. So we're gonna use this tool and I'm actually able to use uh, the drawing pen over this. So this is really nice and I'm glad it's already updated with the new MW3 maps. So going over to the offensive side here, what we're gonna have is the cross spot once again at the planners. We're gonna see into the plane by watching the slide cross. So making sure that anyone who spawns on the defensive side and is trying to instantly rush up this slide to get initial positioning either towards the cockpit or towards this L tunnel, you know, you're getting that initial positioning and you can call out to your teammates who might be trying to instantly rush this uh, from dreams and he can play off of that info. So if he hears that one person is coming, uh, he can be ready for that gunfight or he can play that a little bit slower and try and get that gunfight win off of that. Maybe going to this open window, see if he can see anyone that might be crossing really quickly through this L tunnel. But obviously he has to be aware of anyone that might be low plane uh, in this position over here, trying to initially counter that and even watch uh, the cross this way. So, you know, there are other options for that defensive side. They don't have to initially rush the slide to get towards the side of the map. They can either go with, you know, through low plane towards this position or, you know, even just, you know, run down the middle of the map and just play lower over here, maybe even nade dreams and just play under here, watching anyone that might be quickly pushing the outer from the offensive side or even just wrap around and rush, you know, the stairs themselves because they're just trying to get that initial positioning without having to go through the slide because they know it's a possibility from the offense to be watching that cross. So you're going to have these mind games of, you know, I know this guy could possibly be watching the cross. How can I abuse that type of info for them? Because if they don't see anyone cross, but you're still on that side of the map, that's really bad info for them. Uh, and they have to play off of those options too. And now moving over to this defensive spot, we're going to spawn back here towards the defensive side. And then we're going to rush all the way through the escalators past this bomb and then play this position prone, watching down this hallway to see if anyone on the opponent team crosses from dreams uh, to the plane. So we're watching this cross, making sure that we help out anyone on our team that might be playing on this side of the map. So either if they're playing, you know, inside the plane, trying to get that initial positioning, uh, like we talked about before, or if they're rushing lower to play this position on the outer and watching this L tunnel cross, you know, you can play off of that too. But really just, you know, providing that info for your team. If you see one or two guys are there, you can play based off of that. So that's really good info because you're just 
dissecting what the opponents are doing at that time and any info that you get is beneficial because you want to know where obviously the enemies are you want info that's the biggest thing in search and destroy if you have more info than the enemy team you can make plays off of that and then like i was talking about before you can pair that up with someone that might be playing top escalators here watching your p1 push or watching anyone that might be going through burger and then you can have another guy that's top ac watching your close library push so you don't have to worry about that so everything that you can die from is basically being covered so anyone that might be once again pushing through over here is going to be met with a gunfight and anyone that might be pushing initially through here is going to be wet with another gunfight so if you have that three-man setup towards that side it's really beneficial for trying to just get info at the beginning and then you can have that one guy roaming over here and then you just completely play off that info you're getting obviously if you see no one cross it's a possibility that they're either playing in the library here or towards uh, this burger town side and having more people towards that area so you basically just read that pressure and act off of it accordingly so once again if we're talking about these two different spots uh with the offensive spot over here and the defensive spot over here you know you're basically just giving your teammates that info that they can work off of but you have to be aware of the options that the other team has you know it's possible that they're smart enough to know what you're trying to do so they can try and play off of that and really mess with your head and just try and destroy what you're trying to do uh, with your intentions to watch this cross so what you can actually do uh, to try and screw with them is you know let's say you're on this defensive spot you know it's a possibility that they can watch this slide cross so what you can do you know on this defensive side if you just want to mess with the offense you know that might be abusing this cross spot is just you know maybe even just late hit it you know wait like five ten seconds and then hit it uh, so they're not expecting you to be there right away when they meet you over there but you actually have crossed they just haven't seen you because once again you're not going to be watching the cross on the offensive side the whole round you're only going to be watching it for maybe you know the first five seconds and then starting to act accordingly with whatever you see so if you don't see anything you're not going to just keep watching it you're going to have to start making a play with your team elsewhere uh, because at that point it's not worth for you to continually watch it. you just can't watch for it for the whole round so by late hitting it and you know taking that gamble that they're not watching it anymore you can really catch them by surprise here in the cockpit by being there uh, when they're not expecting you to or what you can really do you know to really you know screw with their head and have some fun with it is to cross with two guys intentionally let them see you and then double back over to this other side so you know they're gonna see two people cross so this AR might you know act with that information and start going towards the side because they see two people and they're gonna try and work that Burger Town area because they're gonna see if they can have that man advantage towards that side with either a 3v2 or 4v2 but in this case you know you're gonna have four people on this side of the map because two people double back and there's actually gonna be zero people towards that playing side so you're gonna meet with them and have a 4v4 rather than what they're expecting uh, in a man advantage situation so you can really screw with them you can really have some fun with this and that's why I really like these maps with these cross spots because there's gonna be a lot of back and forth with the mind games and it is that free info that you can use but you just got to be wary of that info you're getting you know there are smart players and a meta is gonna develop because they know that people are watching the cross so they're either gonna cross play off of it or you know just play those mind games so it's really gonna have this back and forth probably throughout this entire year once we're playing this map because of these cross spots specifically so we're gonna have some fun with it throughout the entire year because it is a really interesting way of how this map plays out so thank you guys for watching thank you guys for making it to the end of the video i hope you guys learned something in terms of these cross spots and i hope you guys can use this in your gameplay but thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one